Cloud has just introduced a brand new data analysis tool that completely changes how it does data analytics in the background. And the way that it does it now is that Cloud can write and run code to process the data and run analysis and produce data visualizations in real time. It is actually combining this new tool with something which was already available to us called the Cloud Artifact. So let's go ahead and see how this new data analysis tool uploaded in the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet actually works. Alright, so let's get started. So firstly, you have to go to cloud.ai and this is how the interface will look like and I hope that you are already familiar with it. Then if you take a look at it, you will firstly see that the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is selected by default and the data analysis feature is available to all users, but you have to activate this. So there are two ways of doing so. So right now I don't have the experimental option feature available right here. Otherwise you will see an icon of a beaker, which you can use to activate the new feature. But in, if you don't have it, no need to worry. You simply have to go to the lab setting panel, click on your profile link, and then here you will see the feature preview option. It will open up this new box for you. And here on the bottom, you will see the analysis tool. Right now this is off. So you only need to toggle this button to turn it to on to have the new feature available to you. And that's it. Now you can see that we have one experimental feature enabled. And the best part is the artifact feature of the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is embedded in this new model by default. So now let's go ahead and see how it actually works. So here I've uploaded a Bitcoin data set that actually shows the variation of the Bitcoin prices from 2014 to 2024. But since this data set is large, so it is showing that the conversation is 477% over the length limit. Try replacing the attached file with the smaller excerpt. And this is because of the small context window which it provides. So I know that this data set contains a large number of rows, but even if I reduce it to only 3000 rows, still it is going to give me the same error of large file because the context window provided by Claude is very small. Now I will reduce the data set and limit the number of rows to approximately 2500 rows. And you can see now it is not giving us any error. So instead of providing it any complex prompt, I'm simply going to ask it to analyze this. Once you learn it, you will see that it will start using the analysis tool to understand the data better and then create the visualizations. This is the new data analysis tool which is introduced in the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And you can see that all of this analysis is being done in JavaScript. So after performing the analysis, it will create visualizations. On the right hand side, you can see the interface for the artifacts where it will create different kinds of visualizations showing the Bitcoin's price evolution and key milestones. All right, so here is the Bitcoin price evolution from 2014 to 2021. You can see on the x-axis, we have different dates and on the y-axis, we have the price of the Bitcoin in US dollars. You can see that initially the price wasn't very high, then it took a hike and crossed the 10K milestone. And then after reaching 2021, there was a sudden increase in the Bitcoin prices which keeps on increasing until it close, crossed the 50k milestone too. And then it started dropping. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the price ranges. A minimum value of the Bitcoin was $217. The maximum was $57,805. The total growth was 7,387% and the time period ranges from these values. So by looking at the visualizations, you will think that it looks kind of similar to the previous version of the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. But the data analysis right here is totally different and that's the whole big upgrade. You have a new large model, a new version of the Sonic that is designed to do a basic job with this analysis. And with this new way of analysis, it provides you much more accurate data and hence much more accurate visualizations. So now let's see if this new model is able to make prediction based on the provided data set or not. For that, I'm going to provide it the prompt that based on the provided data, can you make a prediction for the Bitcoin price for last week of October 2024? Here, it has started providing me different type of analysis. All right, so in the response, it says, I apologize, but I should not make specific predictions for Bitcoin or any other financial assets. Here's why. So actually, it should have provided a prediction or a projection for the prices based on the data that we provided to it, but it clearly failed to do so. Let's see a more basic example in which even the novice users or the non-technical persons can also use a new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet to perform data analysis on their data set. For that, I'm going to upload a new data set. And instead of providing any complex prompt, I'm simply going to ask it 
to analyze this and based on this simple prompt it is going to provide me different type of analysis and visualization for the data set so you can see that it is using the new analysis tool it is performing analysis in the javascript which is far more better than the previous version of the claw 3.5 sonic here it has summarized all the key findings from the data analysis and now it has opened the artifact in which it is creating a dashboard to show different key matrices in the form of visualizations all right so here is the first visualization the, the heading for the visualization is employee data analysis dashboard inside the dashboard firstly we have the department size and the average salary where the blue bar represent the number of employees and the green bar represents their average salary so in the department 10 there is only one employee and the average salary is 4400 if we look at the second one in the department 20 there are two employees average salary is 9500 in the department 30, there are six employees. The average salary is 4150 and so on. Then if we scroll down a little bit, we have a pie chart showing the salary distribution. These are the different colors which are being represented inside the pie chart. And by looking at it, you can see that this is the segment which has the highest salary. And the salary ranges from 0 to 3000. So a total of 17 employees have a salary distribution from 0 to 3k. And only two employees have salary in the range 9k to 12k. Then if we scroll down a bit more, we have the hiring trends by the year. And you will clearly see that in the year 2005, there was the highest number of hiring, which is a total of 14 employees hired in the year 2005. And in the two year 2001, that only a single employee was hired. Here you can see that we simply provided it the data set and a prompt saying analyze this without asking it to use the artifacts or showing us any visualization or anything else. We simply asked it to analyze it and then it provided us this dashboard showing all the major information which was being depicted inside our data set. So now for the last example, I provided the data set for the world's most polluted countries and for the prompt, I've asked it to perform uh, exploratory data analysis on the data set and provide as many visualizations as possible. So firstly, it will use the new data analysis tool to perform the analysis and then we'll create different type of visualizations to uncover the insights. So once the analysis is done, now it is going to create visualizations from the summary that is extracted from the analysis. So here we have the artifact that is going to create the dashboard for us. Okay, so here is our dashboard on the right hand side and on the left hand side here is the data analysis summary. So let's have a look at the dashboard. Firstly, it has provided us a bar chart showing the top 15 most polluted countries out of all of these countries. Bangladesh is the most polluted country with a value of 76.9. Then we have Chad with a value of 75.9. After that, we have Pakistan with 66.8. Tajikistan with 59.4. And then the least polluted country is United Arab Emirates. Then if we scroll down a little bit, we have a chart showing the population versus the pollution levels. So if we hover upon each of the dots, it will provide us the values for the population and the pollution level as well. Then we have the pollution trends from 2018 to 2021 for the top 10 countries. You can clearly see that for Bangladesh from the year 2018 to 2021, the pollution has significantly decreased, but still it is the highest among all the 10 countries. Then if we look at the trends for the Pakistan for the year 2018, the pollution index was 74.3 then in 2019 it decreased to 65.8 then there was a major drop in the year 2020 and then it again spiked to 66.8 for the year 2021 and then you can also see the trends for all the other countries for the five years then we have year over year comparison of the pollution index so all the values which we have seen right here in this graph are now being depicted as a bar chart so all the four values of the pollution index for each country are now being depicted by four different colors, one representing each year. And then if we look at the analysis, so it says based on the analysis and visualizations, here are the key findings that Bangladesh is the most polluted country, then Chad and Pakistan follows, and the top most polluted countries are predominantly in Asia and Africa. Then we have the population and the pollution correlations. There isn't a strong direct correlation between the two. There are some temporal trends, geographical distribution, and data coverage. So apparently, it will seem like this data analysis is nothing different than the data analysis provided by the previous version of the Sonnet. But in reality, it is much more powerful and much more detailed than the previous version of the model. 
So I highly encourage all of you to try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments what you think about it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.